बता रहा है देख रहा के फार के तो रॉक आ रहा है Hey yo, guess is back, back again. Tell a friend, this is the fat man back with another video. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and share. Today we're looking at the legendary transformation of Kerry Von Erich, who hails from the family, uh, wrestling family of Von Erichs. His real name was Kerry Jean Atkinson. He was also called the Texas Tornado for a short time, whilst in the WWE. His entire career is marred by tragedies and controversies. Unfortunately, reading his story really makes you feel for the guy. His tragedies, such as drugs, pills, steroids, motorcycle accident, amputated foot, and two brothers who committed suicide prior to him. One overdosed on sleeping pills while the other shot himself in the head. All of these unfortunate incidents in his life, and not being able to wrestle any more, took a heavy toll on him. And caused him to take his own life at the tender age of 33. He committed suicide by a gunshot wound to the heart. He was six foot two six in he was six foot two inches and build weight was around 254 pounds. Kerry had been the strongest and most handsome of the Von Eriks. He was extremely athletic and had the perfect athletic physique. He wasn't too pumped on growth hormone and other crazy steroids. Uh, he maintained a shredded look. Kerry was rumoured to be already be heavily into steroids by the 10th grade, whether it was simply parental obsession to create create a string of super uh, athletes or he fell into steroids on their own. I don't blame Kerry being on roids at, young, uh, at such a young age. His father was a successful pro wrestler and Kerry was a favourite son. Being the favourite son to Fritz Von Erich must have been very... Uh, uh, it must come with unrealistic expectations about what he could and couldn't uh, accomplish. It was generally believed the father was in denial about his son's drug problems. The Von Eriks were considered a curse by some wrestlers as whoever associated with them would either get involved in the drugs game and even die of a cocaine overdose like Gino Hernandez did at, at the age of 28 or Kevin Williams whose wrestling career was cut short due to the side effects of steroids. On one occasion in the airport coming back from Mexico, custom agents found him with 18 unmarked tablets in his right front pocket. He was hiding nearly 300 assorted downers like Poseidon uh, and codeine pills in a plastic bag in the crotch of his pants. He had 10 grams of marijuana and 6.5 grams of undetermined blue, blue and white powder. His drug problems became so bad he was once dragged to the ring drugged up by other wrestlers in order to make it to the ring to wrestle Ric Flair. So this is my take on Estero Transformation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, comment and share and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Talking, talking, talking.